guys, it's Bruce Lee. Today I'm going to be showing you some hacks and secrets in Adopt Me's brand new artsy update with the awesome Crooked House. But guys, before we get into this, if you want to win free pets, potions, or free Robux, all you need to do is just leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your Roblox username. But guys, let's go. Let's jump right and jump down to the main center. But first, Stavis, how are you feeling today? You feeling good? Yeah, Bruce Lee. I'm feeling kind of good. It's just, you know, it's midnight and it's pretty dark out here. But I can't wait to get back home. And are we going to get the Crooked House today? Are we going to buy it? Yes, Darvis, today we're going to buy the Crooked House. And I'm showing the Prince Lummy all the different secrets that I've found in it. But let's go. Let's jump right and jump down to the main center in three, two, one. Oh, no. No, this isn't going to end well. Ah, what? <laughs> Oh, and we landed perfectly on top of the petware shop. <laughs> but guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your Roblox username if you want to enter any of my giveaways. And don't forget to use Starco Presley when you're buying Robux. But let's go, let's head all the way to our house, and let's buy the brand new Crooked House so I can show you all the different secrets. So we can add new, and we can buy the Crooked House, and it's $2,000, the Crooked House. It looks so, so cool, though. Let's go, let's buy it, build the Crooked House, and watch this. It's going to appear. Boom. Look at that. And to start off with, we just need to go and park our car in the little carport. Might be on an angle, but still, that's cool. <laughs> but let's go. Let's head inside. And guys, let me know your login streak down in the comments below. Mine is 21 days. Let's head inside, guys, and take a look at this house. So, to start off with, there's like stairs that head upstairs, and then there's like a little bedroom slash office in here that leads into a, what I'm definitely going to use this as, yeah, a bathroom. And that's pretty much the whole upstairs area. And then downstairs, there's a massive lounge room and a kitchen, and then also a little cupboard under the stairs. Oh my gosh, we can make a Harry Potter room under here. <laughs> but guys, let's go. Let me show you the first secret. And for this secret, it, all you need is to go into edit house, go into stuff, and pull out any sort of chair. Let's go, let's just use the small chair, and then what you want to do is stand in the very, very corner of your build like this, and then put the camera so you can see the whole room, and then what you want to do is click on here and hold down on it, then press shift on your keyboard, and look at this, guys. We can see outside of this house. And watch this. Now, guys, we can go. We can click on sit. And boom, look at this. We are outside of the Adopt Me Crooked house. Let's go. Let's X this up. Let's pull out something that we can fly with. Uh, let's go. Let's pull out a propeller. And look at this, guys. We now have secret rooms in Adopt Me's brand new crooked house. So, a few ideas for this is you could go all the way on top up here. So, on this little area here. And you could go and like put barriers around the whole edge and make like a massive room up here. That's an idea. But also there's these little rooms that are pretty much already built and you can have them as like a balcony and you can even see the Adopt Me map from up here. It's so, so awesome. So guys, you can just stand here and have like a balcony and you could even put a couple of chairs here. You can glitch through these rooms. Like, look, we can even glitch back in and take a shower and then jump straight back out here. That's actually a little bit of a hack, guys. It could be like a little bit of a secret. It's like, oh, I'm just going to take a shower and then it will teleport me outside. <laughs> That'll actually be pretty awesome. Or guys, you can make an obby where you've got to get people to like jump around the edges of this and you like, oh, go around. Oh my gosh. I wonder how long it's going to take for us to die. Oh wait. Oh, we can go there. Oh, we're actually doing pretty well. Okay. Mum, can I go to the obby place and adopt me? No, Prez. We've got obbies at home. Obbies at home. Wee! <laughs> okay, but guys, no, we fell. Okay. Well, that, that's a little bit sad. Whoopsies. Oh, gee, t takes a while to fall. <laughs> we were falling for so long just then. Okay, let's go. Let's head outside one more time and let me show you one more secret. So we head out here and guys, you can actually go in there. Like there's the house. There's the outside of the house. But guys, with the house comes a massive area up here. And guys, this is so awesome. It's like a hiding spot. You can't actually build up here, which is a little bit sad. Like it says that it's there, but it's not actually there. It's just a little bit of a glitch. But guys, this is so awesome. You can just go up here and it's so, so sick. But guys, let's go. Let me show you the next secret. And for this secret, we actually have to exit the house. Now what we do for this one, guys, is you need a stroller and a fly or ride pet. Let's go. Let's grab out. Let's grab out. Jerry, how are you doing today, Jerry? You doing good? 
Yeah, personally, I'm doing amazing, but what's this? Is this a new Adobe house? It looks awesome. I know, right, Jerry? It looks so, so cool. But guys, let me show you the next secret. So you want a stroller, and then any type of stroller, let's just use the default one. And then you want to put your fly or ride pet into the side of the house like that. And then you want to ride them, and boom, guys, look at this. You're in the side of a secret building in Adopt Me. Like, look, it's the crooked house. You're inside of it, but you're not actually inside. You're in the glitch area of it. And look, you can even jump all the way up here and just sit here. Look at this. You can stand on here on an invisible floor. We can sit on there and we can even dance on there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But guys, this is actually a really cool secret, but, but there's so many secrets for this, guys. And guys, let me show you a few secrets with the brand new furniture. So let's go into the artsy stuff. Let's delete this fridge, guys, and let's replace it with the frosty fridge, guys. Let's go. There's the frosty fridge. Let's place it in there, and it actually looks really, really cool. It's literally made out of ice. It's so awesome. All right, guys, look at that. That's pretty cool. But guys, if you go and get a water cooler, watch this. You can go and put a water cooler inside of the fridge so guys look it's there and we put it inside of the fridge and watch this you can actually go and grab water look on the fridge there's a little button that says grab water and you can grab water around the fridge it's really cool and this also works with donuts guys let's go let's grab some donuts boom we can put them straight into the fridge and watch this we can grab donuts and we can grab water out of the fridge it's pretty awesome that's a pretty cool build hack <laughs> next up is with the new cloud shower let's go let's head up upstairs all the way up here and into our little bathroom where we can use the shower hack. So let's go. Let's grab ourselves the cloud shower. There we go. The rain cloud shower. And you want to put that wherever you want to. It doesn't really matter where you put it. But I want to put my shower right here in this corner for this build. And then you want to face it whatever way you want to. Just make it look nice. And then what you want to do is grab out a bird bath, guys. And what these bird baths do is they put water out of them. So what you can do is actually put this inside of the shower and it adds like a little effect down there but guys what the awesome thing is is if you grab a barrier and you also grab a bird bath let's go let's get ourselves one more bird bath and let's also grab a barrier and then you put the barrier right there and the bird bath on top it actually looks like it's raining out and you can also put them on the walls and even though you can see the base of them it actually looks like cool little windows and look now there's actually like water spouting out of the side of the rain cloud shower this is actually one of my favorite build hacks it actually looks really cool look at it oh my gosh i'm definitely gonna keep that there because it looks awesome but guys that's not the end of the bathroom hacks another thing you can do is with the toilet so if we actually go and search up toilet there's quite a few when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be looking at toilets today, but you know, the day brings you weird places. So we can go, there's the modern toilet, but with the new update, there's also the toilet water bowl. And this is one of my favorite new features because watch, if we pull out any type of pet, let's just pull out Daisy our Dodo, and then you click drink, they now drink out of the toilet bowl. So what you can do now is you can put this toilet wherever you want to, but I would put it right next to here. So while you're in the toilet, your pets can also go to the toilet here as well. <laughs> Look at this. It's actually really, really cool. Guys, okay, since you me did have this new toilet, let me show you a toilet build hack. So let's go into stuff. Let's grab a chair, guys. That's what you want to do. Pull out a chair. And I like to use the vintage chair because it fits perfectly with this type of toilet. And I know it, what I'm saying sounds really, really weird, but it'll make sense soon. Why? Oh, there we go. Now it's actually buying stuff. But we want to go. We want to edit this and then move it so it's like that. What? Why did it go like that? Why did it go there? And then you want to put that inside of this toilet right there and watch this guys if we go like that boom you can't see the chair but you can go and if you click that button you can sit on the toilet it looks pretty cool like look it's like you can sit there and you could also like buy a really tiny chair and then put it inside of that so your pets can sit on the toilet as well oh my gosh that'll be so so cute but guys daisy is kind of stinky so let's go let's let her have a shower there we go daisy's in the shower and look i'm sure she's loving it with the new water fountains inside her as well <laughs> 
Okay, this next one is a bedroom hack. So this bed, no, boring. That's a boring bed. Let's go, let's grab a banana bed, guys. The new banana bed, boom. And let's put it right there, but the banana pet bed. Let's remove that bed. Let's replace it with a banana pet bed. And guys, what you can do, which is pretty cool, is if you grab a food bowl and put it inside of here and then tilt it the right way round. Oh no, the right way round, not the wrong way round. You want to tilt it like that. It's better if you color it yellow because it matches perfectly with that. But what you can do is if you go and put your pet there, it looks like they're eating the banana and it actually does work. They're like eating their banana pet bed and then they can also sleep on the banana pet bed. Look at that. That's actually really cute. Look at the little, she's like, hmm, I've had a big, big day of eating bananas. Now it's time to lie in a banana and sleep in it. <laughs> and this next build hack is with this moon crib. Let's go, let's replace this basic crib with a moon crib, guys. And we can go and put it right there. But guys, if you grab a barrier, let's go, let's buy ourselves a barrier. And then you also want to go and get a star, guys. Let's go star. Look at this. So we can go, we can buy these stars. Let's buy three. And then you can put the barrier like in random spots and make it look like it's moon and stars. And it looks really, really cute. Like, let's go, we can color that one white. And it just looks really, really cool. Look, it's like little white stars around the moon. I'm gonna say this probably about every single thing that I'm showing you guys today, but this is like my favorite build hack. It looks just so, so cute. Look at it. I actually really, really love it. And then you can remove the barrier and look, it's like moon and stars. It looks really cool. And the good thing about it is you can change these stars color. So you can like change them to pink if you wanted pink ones, or you could change it to blue if you wanted blue ones, or even yellow if you wanted yellow ones, I guess. Like, look at that. That actually looks really, really cool. Sadly, you can't change the color of the moon crib, but guys, I think that these stars actually look really nice. But guys, can we talk about how the wall art just looks really, really cool? Like all the different types of wall art looks so, so amazing. Like, let's go, let's just spam this wall with every single type. Let's go this. That one, 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 that one. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of money that I just spent on these wall arts. But what I like to do, guys, and it's not much of a hack, but it just looks really cool if you plaster your wall with all of these different pieces of wall art. They just look really awesome. Like, we can put that one there, that one there, and you can even double a few up so that the wall is completely covered in them. We can put that one up there. It just looks so, so cute. Let me know your favorite piece of wall art that Adopt added. But what you can also do is go and grab posters. There's a posters section and then you can go and plaster the wall with a ton of posters as well. And what you can do is you can just plaster this wall with a ton of them and then do the massive one in the very, very middle. To make it stand out even more, you can put black bricks around the edges. Like guys, look at how cool that looks. It's like a massive wall of posters and then there's that in the middle. I just think that looks really, really awesome. Okay, but what Adopt Me also added is this dog table and it's literally the size of a dog except it's a table. But what you can do guys which is actually pretty cool is you can put it anywhere and then you can go and grab a food bowl and now guys it looks like this cute little dog is like eating the food and you can also go and let your pets eat there as well let's go let's pick up Daisy come on let's stop editing first pick up Daisy let her eat there and then it looks like the dog and Daisy are sharing the food and it's really really cute I like that especially if you go and put like a grow potion on your dog because then like they'll be like the exact same size that'll be pretty cool and adopt me also had this cat wardrobe and whenever I put down the cat wardrobe I'm always I'm pretty much always gonna put down these little cat ears in front of it <laughs> And you can even go the step further and put down a large disc and then go and like make it gray and like edit it and put like little bowls and little details on it, make it look like it's a cat. But I just like to put down the little cat ears in front of it. I think that that's really cute. And guys, this next one goes with my favorite piece of furniture from this whole update. Let's go into Artsy, let's head all the way to the end and it's the sub sofa. Guys, look at that, that looks pretty cool. But you know, whenever I get Subway, I always just like, I the meatballs or I like putting the chicken in it guys and this one it only has ham no chicken so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a chicken in the middle of it there we go we've got our chicken let's put it right there and now we've got a chicken subway sandwich <laughs> don't forget to use Starco Presley when you're buying Robux and I'll see you in the next one guys have the best day ever yeah. peace